Yeah. The one redeeming feature of the deal is that for now, temporarily, it prevents the worst of all possible outcomes, namely a no deal uh, and a hard border north-south, which, as I think we do all genuinely agree, that that would be a disaster. So that is a, a redeeming feature uh, of the deal, but it is only a temporary guarantee of that because of the consent uh, mechanism. Uh, and uh, as Deputy Murphy has rightly said, and something uh, socialists have argued right since the inception of the Northern Agreement, is that it is an agreement very similar to the one in Lebanon that led to decades of sectarian uh, conflict, uh, is that it institutionalises sectarianism, so the consent mechanism is tied up with a form of institutionalised sectarianism, uh, which means that that sectarian poison continues to bubble, and every issue is seen through the prism uh, of uh, sectarianism. Uh, and that's a problem. And it does mean that uh, the temporary guarantee that there won't be a border uh, or uh, uh, a hardening of the border uh, is, is only that temporary. It also, I think, potentially is an absolute administrative and bureaucratic nightmare uh, to administer this. And maybe on the day that, the tragic day that it's in it, uh, it might be worth maybe shifting perspective to one of the other consequences of the sort of Brexit that it may facilitate from the point of view of Boris Johnson, but which to some extent is already being facilitated by the policies of the European Union. One of Johnson's major uh, uh, drives in his version of Brexit, of course, is a racist, xenophobic, anti-immigrant uh, drive uh, to prevent the free movement of uh, people and to effectively target and stigmatise immigrants and refugees. And we have seen today the absolutely horrific, uh, uh, obscene, uh, human, tragic consequences of that, of Fortress Europe policies uh, and of the even worse and more racist and xenophobic policies of Boris Johnson uh, that he hopes and believes uh, this deal will facilitate. Uh, and it's really, you know, it's uh, awful to think Ireland may have played a role in this. 29 people suffocating in uh, a um, lorry that almost certainly travelled through this country. And you have to ask, why or what is it about European immigration policy, fortress Europe policy, that is leading people to take those desperate measures? Because the policy is racist. Uh, that's why, and it then feeds into things like what's going on in Turkey at the moment, that Europe does deals and pays money to a regime like the Turkish regime to keep the immigrants out, and then that regime does what it's doing to the Kurds. Uh, uh, and then invading northern Syria in, in order to further drive back uh, the Kurds. The very self-same Kurds who fought a heroic battle against ISIS in Kobani and other parts uh, of uh, that border uh, area, sacrificed on the, uh, the big chess, uh, ch chessboard of uh, imperial intrigue and manipulation uh, and real po pragmatic politics, uh, so-called. Uh, so that is what Boris Johnson sees this deal as facilitating, is that kind of race to the bottom in terms of racist immigration policy, attacking labour standards, attacking environmental standards, uh, and so on, and the deal effectively facilitates uh, that. And, uh, you know, uh, it's not difficult for Europe to pose as a relatively progressive bulwark when, you're fa when, the, when the protagonist or the antagonist is Boris Johnson, who's obnoxious, right-wing, racist, playing to the absolute lowest common denominator. Uh, but as, Paul, as Deputy Murphy has alluded to, when you look at many of the things Europe itself is doing in terms of immigration policy that can result in that kind of tragedy, or doing trade deals with Bolsonaro, uh, 
where we know the guy is slaughtering the rainforests uh, and destroying actually uh, the forests that produce the oxygen for the world, that allows us to breathe. But trade, German manufacturing wanting to sell cars in Germany, whatever it is, overcomes uh, the environmental imperatives, uh, the climate imperatives, and we do, uh, Europe does those rotten deals uh, with Bolsonaro, or for that matter, more recently, with uh, Trump. Uh, so, of course, a no deal, a border is the worst case scenario, but let's not dress up uh, what this deal is, what Johnson represents, or indeed Europe's own culpability for many of the, uh, the horrors we see uh, around Europe and the world.